guess it started me thinking um, how about hyper masculinity again what I was bringing to, to was sort of the, the male dimension of some sort but also as I, I shared with the editors you know I, when I first came out and started going to bars and whatnot um, and started getting grabbed um, and started understanding oh my god like this is what most women would probably feel like all, all their life, like without, and, and suddenly, suddenly realizing I needed to have some boundary that I never needed to have as a male in the world. Um, but then I also started thinking about also maybe how I've transgressed boundaries in some ways too, or, or what is that impulse um, that I, that we have sometimes to, to transgress those boundaries. And there is something with me that I've carried all my life too. And it's not a, something that would happen to me, but something that I did to someone else, which is in, in the long run, sort of benign and just, you know, just kid stuff. But I hated it all my life. And I think it was because I realized, I, like, I don't know, I've just been disgusted with that moment. And this is, an, in a sense, an apology uh, of some sort. And, um, and again, just maybe thinking about um, where does that, you know, toxic masculinity that come from. Where does where where do men feel they are entitled to do these things? How we're raised uh, um, here, at uh, Ali or or, um, or whatever. I'm flustered. <laughs> here we go. It's called um, El Americano in the Mirror. I'm gonna need my glasses for this. Maybe you don't remember or didn't want to, or maybe like me, you've never been able to forget May 1979, fifth grade recess. I grabbed your collar, shoved you up against the wall behind the chapel, called you a sissy ass Americano to your face, then punched you hard as I could. Maybe you still live as I do with the awful crack of my knuckles slam on your jaw and the grim memory of your slip split. Why didn't you punch me back? That would have hurt less than the jab of your blue eyes dulled with pain. How you let your body wilt, lean into me. And we walked arm in arm to the boys' room, washed off the blood and dirt. Is that how you remember it? What you can't remember is what I thought when our gazes locked in the mirror and I wanted to say, I'm sorry, maybe I love you, perhaps even kiss you. Did you feel it too? At that instant, did we both know somehow, understand what I'm only now capable of putting into these words, that I didn't hate you, but envied you. The Americano sissy I wanted to be with sheer skin, dainty freckles, the bold consonants of your English name, your perfectly starched shirts, pleated pants, the showy Happy Days lunchbox, your A-plus spelling quizzes that I could barely pass. Why didn't you snitch on me? I don't remember now who told Sister Magdalene, but I'll never forget how she wrung my ears until I cried for you dragged me to the back of the room, made me stand for the rest of that day, praying the rosary to think hard about my sins. And I did. And I have for 32 years, Derek. Whether you don't remember, don't want to, or never forgot, forgive me, though I may never forgive myself. 